Hi, Rolando. My name is Ellen, and I'll be correcting these essays for you. Um, I'm very happy to see that you've begun your essays as part of the course, but let's take a look and see what you've written here. Uh, the first one is about education and if it should be more entertaining or not, so let's see what you wrote. In today's modern world, the most competitive educational institutions are extremely challenged on finding a strategic way, nope, that's ways, to maintain and boost quality of education, pupils are learning from school. There are lots of debates online as to whether inclusion of entertainment in class can be a factor to consider in this manner. All right, um, I'd like to clean up the grammar because that's where I see one of the major problems being here. Let's see uh, what you could have done. In today's modern world, uh, most competitive educational with a lowercase a Educational institutions are extremely challenged to find strategic ways to maintain and boost quality of education. People, uh, pupils are receiving, they don't learn an education, to receive an education from school. There are lots of debates online as to whether the inclusion of entertainment in class can be a factor to consider in this matter. And then I would have taken this sentence and I would have attached it to your introduction because it's important to include your position in the introduction. So uh, here where you say, I personally believe that this will significantly help to achieve the main goal of most educational institutions, comma, that is, comma, to enhance quality of teaching. Okay? So again, that really doesn't belong in your next paragraph. It belongs in your introduction. So let's see what else you wrote. There are largely two reasons for this. All right, now careful here. Since, um, you know, now this is starting a new paragraph, it's not a good idea to start with the word this, as if your reader now knows what you're talking about. You could be referring back to any number of nouns in the previous paragraph. So there are two there are, mm, there are largely two reasons why entertainment should be um, added, mm, not added, it says they should be more entertaining. So there are two, there are largely two reasons why schools should have more entertaining elements. There we go. Firstly, students tend to easily get bored and lazy um, with traditional ways of teaching. All right, don't hit enter here. This should continue as one block of text. For example, a recent experimental study published ED by a group of academic researchers at Harvard University. Uh, I don't understand this. To a group of primary students composed of young learners in a class. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe you mean something else. A recent study. How, here's how I would write this. A recent study published by a group of academic researchers at Harvard, Harvard University on a group of primary students composed of young learners shows that 95% got poor exam results when a pure curriculum-based approach was implemented for a duration of two months. Okay, again, keep this as one piece of text. Therefore, this just clearly shows that young learners have poor memory retention in an uninteresting class teaching setup. Okay, let's see. Students get bored. Then you said that... Uh, two reasons. Oh, okay, I see. So you've got the first reason here and you've got the second reason here. All right, all right, that's fine. Secondly, learning when combined with, I think you mean a little. This is what I believe you mean here, because you mean some. You mean a positive number, not a negative. So let's change it, actually. Secondly, learning when combined with some enjoyable and fun entertaining activities tends to better attract the attention, interest, and focus of the students. I feel like this is like the mirror image of what you said here. Okay, uh, this is the case in, in research, not a research, made by educators to 
multiple, comma, well-known schools in California with their students frequently seen as those excelling in, I don't understand this, quiz bean competitions, this is unclear, around the world. The school operates with a holistic approach uh, to instill, no ED, entertainment in their teaching methodology. Therefore, it's arguably a better approach to include entertainment as part of curriculum in school. Okay, I really thought that this was, like, like I said before, the mirror image of what you said here. One of your two main reasons was uh, why we should have entertainment is uh, because students get bored if you don't have it. And then here you tell us that but these fun activities help keep students' attention. It's like the same thing, but just from a different perspective. So I, I don't think this should have been included. I think you should have included more ideas. Um, we can talk about what some of those ideas could have been. So I don't really feel like this paragraph was particularly strong in terms of its development. But another really important thing here that you can see so far is that I'm struggling with some of your grammar. There were a couple of places where I told you the message was not clear. And so you really want to work on some of this grammar to make sure that it's coherent and that um, there's more grammatical accuracy. Let's take a look at your conclusion. In summary, there are numerous proven facts and studies on the benefits of inserting entertainment in ways of teaching. Schools can start incorporating entertainment and should continually find ways for improvements for its effectiveness. Let me show that again. Schools can start incorporating entertainment and should continually find ways to improve its effectiveness. I think that makes more sense. Okay, so um, I know I gave you a lot of feedback for this, a lot of different things, um, things that have to do with task achievement, things that have to do with coherence and cohesion, things that have to do with grammar. Um, for me, grammar was probably the weakest element of this. Also, task achievement needed a little work because I didn't really feel like you, um, I felt like you were kind of repetitive with your ideas. So what could you have talked about? You wanted to have a one-sided essay where you talked about um, let's see, well, you talked about why schools should be more entertaining. Um, you told us that, let's see, um, students get bored with traditional teaching. And then you also told, yeah, here, look, you just said that it's more interesting. So it really felt repetitive. Let's think about what else you could have said. I was here, you already talked about boredom with the traditional way of teaching. And then you could have said, in contrast, um, entertainment and education helps promote memory, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and students get better grades. You could have talked about other things here. So you could have talked about how um, entertainment in classroom promotes better memory retention. So tests showed that students who learned things uh, while playing games remember them 80% better than students who did not. Um, or you could have talked about other skills they gain, like, um, for example, one of the benefits of this type of, um, is, is advanced creativity. Okay. One skill that is gained advanced creativity when students play games and they, you know, do role plays and everything. Uh, it is found that students perform 58% better on writing tasks or creative writing tasks or something. So there were a lot of other things you could have said here, but like I said, I really thought that your two paragraphs were essentially just the mirror image of each other. So that needed some work. All right, so we've covered a lot of this essay. I really want to go into your second one about doing the enjoyable activity with a child. Let's say there are lots of views and opinions as to whether doing an enjoyable activity with a child can develop, oops, we have one here. we go, can develop uh, better skills and more creativity rather than reading. I strongly agree with this approach. Um, no, I strongly agree with this approach because young children develop their motor and cognitive skills only through play 
when they are in early years of education. No S. And here I would have added a the in the early years of education. Firstly, enjoyable activities excite and motivate the child to even start, no, motivate the child to start to perform the task given. This is especially true for young children in preschool as they cannot comprehend much if you just give them a book to read since their attention memory span is less. Okay, how about is shorter, is smaller? The memory span is shorter, perhaps? Uh, let's see, for example, comma, a recent experimental study by Association of Early Childhood Educators revealed that children retained and learned faster to identify objects to play rather than reading, rather than the reading teaching method. Okay, this clearly explains that children's apostrophe S, attention and interest is important for effective learning. Fine. Secondly, play, al no, play allows, play as like a abstract thing, like the, the, the concept of playing. So play allows the child to develop much better skills, no A, and creativity through interactions with his playmates, okay? There is no scientific evidence that shows reading has an impact on the child's apostrophe as creativity and skills. Here you needed some sort of contrast. So you should have said, uh, in contrast, okay? In fact, a recent study made by a group of teachers in Harvard University shows that durable activities are vital to boost the child's overall skills and creativity. Uh, okay, I would have liked a little more here. I would have liked a little more detail. It really feels like very similar to your first sentence in this paragraph. So maybe you could have told us a little more about this. Maybe you could have said, um, shows that um, children perform 73% better on creativity-based tasks uh, when they play game after they play games rather than when they are read to. Something like that would have been good. So. Inclusion, although I, what? I was at the side of, I don't understand. Mm, all right, we'll talk about this. Although I am in favor of non-reading non -reading methods of teaching. No, let's try that again. In conclusion, although I am in favor of non-reading methods of teaching, comma, I strongly recommend for parents to still incorporate bedtime reading to, into their child's routine. However, they should find much better interactive ways to make things enjoyable for their child to develop, no ER, their skills more. Okay, now here's the thing. Uh, you can't do this. You can't introduce all of a sudden in your conclusion a brand new element here. All of a sudden you're telling us at the very end of the essay that hey, you know what, maybe reading isn't so bad. This is not the place to introduce any new ideas, okay? The only place where you want to introduce new ideas is in your body. And I think it's okay to talk about the benefits of the reading, of reading. I think that's a very good thing to do. But in order to do that, you need to make a number of major changes to your essay. First of all, you need to say in your introduction, not I strongly agree with this approach, you could say, I strongly agree with this approach, although reading also has many benefits for a child's skill development. That would have made sense. Okay? So saying to us that, you know what, I really think both of these are valuable tools. Then you could have spent one paragraph talking about reading and how it's important and it should not be neglected if we want our children to develop certain skills. And then you could have spent the next paragraph talking about uh, how important play is in the development of skills and creativity. All right, so this is a good way to do this, but this uh, would not really help you. This would actually potentially lower your task achievement because all of a sudden at the end, you're introducing this new idea. Uh, it could also potentially um, affect your coherence and cohesion score because again, there's not a logical progression of ideas. All of a sudden you're throwing us this curve ball in your conclusion. 
um, that we had no sort of um, awareness was going to happen. Okay, so uh, that's my feedback for this first set of essays. I'm glad that you started on the course. I think it's really going to help you a lot with your writing. So let's talk about now what the next steps are. The first step is for you to correct these essays based on the suggestions that you heard in this video. The second thing for you to do is create an error correction list where you write the mistakes and the corrected version next to them so that you can learn from your mistakes, add to this list with every essay correction you get back from us. And then the third thing you need to do, of course, is write a new set of essays, um, incorporating everything you've learned both in the course and in these video corrections. So send all these three things back together, um, ideally in the next couple of days so we can keep up this momentum. And I'll wait to hear back from you, okay? Good luck.